For some of you, it may come as a surprise to learn that silver has more uses than simply gifting it to someone you admire in exchange for some love. Silver is an amazing precious metal. It is malleable. It is ductile. It has the highest thermal and electrical conductivity of all the metals out there. And it has really impressive reflective properties, antimicrobial properties. It is fascinating. And it's being used in a wide array of industries. Actually, if you're watching this video, it's in part thanks to silver. Because silver is on all the circuit boards, all the chips, all the smart devices. And you might not be aware of all the various ways that silver is being used. And this is what we're going to cover in this video. And aside from its amazing properties, silver is rare. There is a limited supply of silver. The same thing cannot be said about cash, about fiat currency. And this is why supply and demand is undefeated. It is king when it comes to dictating the price and value of something. However, I don't invest in anything that I don't do heavy, heavy due diligence on, that I don't do extensive research on. And so I looked into all the various ways that silver is being applied in the world today. And so without further ado, here's my presentation on all the uses of silver. Nearly 40 million ounces of silver is used in the car manufacturing industry yearly for the purposes of electrical connection during operation in the main cabin, engine, and beyond due to silver's unique electrical conductivity and thermal properties which allow it to have excellent oxide resistance and durability under really harsh operating environments. Aside from the internal combustion engine, silver is used a lot in hybrid electric vehicles and fully electric vehicles. The EV market is growing so rapidly and so one has to assume that the demand for silver will grow with it. Another area where silver is actively used is in the 3D printing space and this is interesting because I had a video covering nano dimensions before and nano dimensions which is an Israeli based circuit board 3D printing company uses silver as ink filament and it's called AG site nanoparticle silver ink. So nano dimensions AG site nanoparticle silver inks offer multiple groundbreaking advantages over traditional materials. Years of research and development have enabled them to reliably extract pure silver particles of 10 to 100 nanometers in size while controlling for other characteristics such as shape and particle dispersion. This ensures that each batch of customized AG site nano silver ink can be optimized for a wide range of applications such as radio frequency identification and organic light emitting diode components while maintaining excellent conductivity, adhesion, and flexibility. Silver is also widely used in the booming solar panel industry. Silver plays a huge role there. It helps to create the energy and also to store the energy for future use in these solar panel devices. Both the residential and commercial uses of solar panels is growing rapidly and so you also have to assume that the demand for silver will continue to rise rapidly with it. So ironically enough, if you're watching this video, it's in part thanks to silver because silver is present in virtually all televisions, personal computers, smartphones, and essentially all smart devices. They are integral in circuit boards and chips. And what's interesting is that, as you all know, there's a chip shortage currently. And that just goes to show that the demand for silver will continue to increase in this space. So many people have been using electronics and smart devices in the past few years, especially with the pandemic being present, that we have a semiconductor chip shortage. And silver plays a big part in this space. Here's something interesting you might not be aware of. Bitcoin mining actually relies on silver as well. With Bitcoin being the crypto gold of the crypto markets, mining is going to continue to be a very popular activity across the globe. Bitcoin mining is the process by which Bitcoins are entered into circulation. It's performed using very sophisticated computers that solve very extremely complex computational math problems. These sophisticated computers all have hardware and circuit boards where silver is typically utilized. So you can almost think of silver as one of the raw resources needed to mine Bitcoin. So the next time you look up and you see planes and helicopters flying above you, remember, 
that plane and helicopter engines use silver as well. Engines have silver bearings so that they can function continuously and at very high temperatures without faltering. Silver has a melting point above 960 degrees Celsius and is a safe choice for engines since they get very, very, very hot. Coating a steel ball bearing in silver reduces the friction between the bearing and its housing and the silver effectively acts as a lubricant between the two. This next one is one that we most commonly think of when it comes to silver, and that's using it as jewelry, as gifts of jewelry. Sterling silver is considered a high-end gift for someone and is a popular choice for jewelry. It has some claimed health benefits as well, like keeping the skin clean, there's a lower risk of silver allergy as compared to other metals, and so many times those people with sensitive skin choose sterling silver since it doesn't cause skin irritation commonly. Also, silver is a really reflective metal, and so it is shiny and looks really, really nice to wear as bling. Sterling silver is actually shinier than even white gold. And also, with the price currently being around $25 an ounce for silver versus gold's ridiculous price of $1,800 an ounce, one can see why sterling silver is a sought-after choice for the average consumer. Did you know that silver actually plays a role in water purification as well? Silver prevents algae bacteria and other pathogens from accumulating within the filter system so that they can work properly, so that these systems can get rid of bacteria, chlorine, toxic metals, particulates, odor, etc. Silver combined with oxygen acts as a really powerful sanitizer. Silver ions are being added to water purification systems in hospitals, community water systems, pools, and the list goes on and on. And it's also used to prevent diseases due to the building up of gunk in pipes. The medical use of silver is extraordinary and i highly advise that you guys look it up and look into it i don't want to go too much into detail as far as the medical benefits of silver because i don't want this to be seen as me giving medical advice but did you know that in the middle ages ulcers and burns were commonly treated with silver nitrate during the bubonic plague people would use silverware due to its antimicrobial properties Food, wine, and water were commonly stored in silver containers to preserve them longer. Today, silver is used in the clothing, in tools, in bandages. You can also find it in ointments thanks to its antimicrobial properties, and it's used both in hospital settings and over-the-counter medical products. The next time you notice that someone has really, really nice fingernail polish or that they smell lovely, silver may actually be playing a role there because silver is used in body sprays and deodorants. And also, silver is used in the formation of nail polish, among other cosmetics. It should come as no surprise that silverware and tableware are used interchangeably. Did you ever wonder why people say that past the silverware? Even if it's not, even if it's stainless steel, because silver is very long lasting. It's very reflective, giving it a really shiny, clean look, and it has antimicrobial properties. So it actually makes sense to use in the food industry because it prevents pathogens from building up on it. And it's been used as tableware since the 14th century. Silver plays a role in batteries as well. Silver oxide batteries are lightweight and small, and they power a lot of things around us, like hearing aids, watches, smart devices, digital cameras, quartz watches, and much, much more. Now, remember I mentioned that back in the day in the Middle Ages, ulcers and burns were commonly treated with silver nitrate? Well, today, silver nitrate has been used to stain glass, and that also goes way, way back. Silver nitrate has been used to stain glass since the early 14th century. Now, this next one I found to be absolutely fascinating. Cloud seeding. Using silver iodide is a type of weather modification that aims to change the amount or type of precipitation that falls from clouds by dispersing substances into the air that serve as cloud condensation or ice nuclei, which alter the microphysical processes within the cloud. Its effectiveness is somewhat debated. Some studies have suggested that it's difficult to show clearly that cloud seeding has a very large effect. However, it is used. The usual objective is to increase precipitation, rain or snow, either for its own sake or to prevent precipitation from occurring in days afterward. 
Silver is also widely used in chemical production because it acts as a catalyst to produce two important chemicals, ethylene oxide and formaldehyde. Ethylene oxide is used to produce molded plastics such as plastic handles and flexible plastics such as polyester, and formaldehyde is used as a colorless, strong-smelling gas which makes building materials and many household products. It's used in pressed wood products such as particle board, plywood, and fiberboard glues, adhesives, even permanent press fabrics. Formaldehyde is also commonly used in the embalming process, which is the art and science of preserving human remains by treating them to forestall decomposition. You might remember if you were in middle school and you had to dissect the animals in biology class, they stunk, and that was probably due to formaldehyde preserving those cells. And in humans, formaldehyde is used during the embalming process so that there can be a private viewing of the body as part of a funeral ceremony, like at a wake, or to keep them preserved for medical purposes in an anatomical laboratory. So a lot of medical schools, they have facilities that have bodies that are preserved so that they can experiment on them and so that they can practice surgical procedures on them. Here's an interesting one. There's a treat called Vark or Varak, also silver leaf, and it's a super fine foil sheet of pure metals that's actually used to decorate South Asian sweets and food. So it's meant to be edible. And it's also placed on mounds of saffron rice served on platters to make them look more appetizing. The silver is edible, though it's flavorless, and varak is made by pounding silver into sheets a few micrometers thick. That being said, I certainly would not eat anything that has silver in it, and I kind of don't recommend you guys to do the same, but it's an interesting use and I thought I'd mention it. Mirrors is another place that silver is used. If you didn't know, metals are the most commonly used mirror coatings. Because of their reflective abilities, aluminum and silver are the ones that are most commonly used. Silver happens to be the most reflective across the visible spectrum. There is no other metal that is as reflective. It reflects 95% of light. Aluminum is slightly less reflective, yet still can reflect 90% of light. So it is used as well. So this next one is really important to understand, and especially for this channel. Silver is seen as a really, really good investment. Especially nowadays with inflation expected to get way out of control due to the ridiculous amount of printing of fiat currency to keep up with all the stimulus packages and funding proposals. Silver also acts as an inflation hedge. As a physical asset, it has intrinsic worth. Unlike the dollar or other currencies, silver holds its value long term and fares well when interest rates are low and fixed income investments aren't earning too much. Lately, there has been a lot of buzz around silver, in part thanks to the Reddit communities attempting to short squeeze silver, and in other part, hopefully, to resources like this, which illustrate that the current industries and applications of where silver is utilized today are expected to grow in the coming years. The demand for silver in EV, chip manufacturing, solar panels, even water purification are undeniable and are going to actively be demanding the very versatile precious metal which is silver. So hopefully this video helped you better understand how silver is being utilized in the world today. If you're watching this video from an investment standpoint, then I hope that it helps you formulate a better thesis and a better strategy for whether you should or shouldn't be invested in silver. Again, please do your share your thoughts in the comment section and hopefully all of us can become silver bullionaires at some point. Get it? So do keep in mind, if you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth, it's okay because there's plenty of time. And if silver does what I'm hoping it's going to do as far as the price of silver, then you know what? You might be able to afford a silver knife, put it through all your debt, and then eventually you might even die and be buried in a silver casket. So don't worry if you weren't born with that silver spoon in your mouth. This is a terrible way to end the video, but... uh. It's a genuine one. So I'm going to leave it at that. And please do like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next week's episode of the Bulls, the Bears, and the Bats. I appreciate you for watching this. And I wish you well on your educational or investment journeys.